when we hear the word vocation, uh, most of us uh, immediately think of priesthood or religious life. And yes, these are vocation. But did you know that marriage is also a vocation? In our life, we usually think that only priests and nuns have a vocation because they are called from God. Meanwhile, people get married every day, have children. It seems like, like normal. They choose to who they want to live with. There's no calling from God. Seven years ago, uh, after my ordination, I came back to uh, Vietnam uh, to celebrate a Thanksgiving Mass in my parish named An Hoa Dalat Diocese. This is the place where I was born and grew up there before I moved to the United States. The Mass was so special with more than 30 priests and a lot of people far and near. And following the Mass was a big party. You know that Vietnamese usually, usually have a big party after Thanksgiving Mass for the new ordained priest. It's like an event for the whole parish and another place can come. And I, uh, I, I met a lot of my friends and uh, most of my friends now uh, got married. And uh, some of them even have children and grandchildren. Because in Vietnam, they got married in the early age, like 18. So um, everyone was very happy for me. And one, and uh, they're very happy because uh, they, they see me like the one who used to be a cowboy with them riding cow on the mountain. And the one who used to go to class and, and sometimes play truant with them. And uh, the one who used to play soccer in the tournament and win the uh, championship and share the happiness. And now I'm a priest. And for them, uh, they say, Ling, you are going the right way. Thanks be to God. Your vocation is wonderful. Because for them, life was miserable. Marriage was hard. And some of them even divorced. And they told me that, Ling, maybe you have this life and the next life. But for us, arguing and fighting, maybe we lost this life and also the next life. <laughs> but some of them have a wonderful marriage, and many of them for, forget that uh, marriage is also a vocation, and God called them to, to be holy to marriage life. St. Francis once said, marriage is a vocation. We Catholics are called to enter the sacrament of holy matrimony as a way of following Jesus and giving our lives to love our spouse and children. In the gospel today, Jesus teaches us from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. And for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined with his, to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. And Jesus said, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. So marriage is holy and it's a vocation, it's a calling from God. And I don't think that uh, you and I are here just because like, our parents just happen to meet each other and happen to help us in this life. I think deep inside, there's 
the calling from God and the holiness in marriage. Marriage is the vocation, a calling from God, and God called you through very simple things. You met someone among countless people, but you met only one. And going home, you miss that person so much, and you cannot live without that person. And like the first reading, God brought to Adam everything on earth, but he's not happy until God gave him Eve. It's similar to you. You decided to get married with the only person you love. You began your marriage with a vow, with only the person you love. On your wedding day, you accepted to take your lover to be your spouse. And you said confidently and loudly to your spouse, I promise to you to be faithful in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you on the day of my life. So when you get married, you answer God's calling. You leave everything, even though your mother and your father, to follow the calling of God to get into marriage life. Marriage is a vocation. When you accept this vocation, you are also invited to face the challenges and difficulties. And the way to follow Jesus is not easy. Jesus always said, follow me, carrying the cross every day. And the way to become holy is not easy. Like vocations of single life and priesthood, vocation of marriage has many temptations and trials in this secular society. People don't care much about marriage, about family. They just care something else, living together, have fun. They don't believe that the holiness and sacredness Fruitfulness in family. They got married just not because two people, but God with them. God called them. And sometimes in the secular world, people don't see that women are also created in image of God. Sometimes they treat women like and objects. When I first arrived in Orange County, California in 1999 from Vietnam, and my friends who had lived there for a long time invited me to have a coffee at a Vietnamese cafe. If you know, if you go to uh, Orange County, you know, the Vietnamese cafe at that time, very famous. But one thing I didn't know that the waitresses who worked there just wore bikini. <laughs> Everyone knew that. I didn't. <laughs> so when we were at the table, and suddenly, right in front of me, the waitress. <laughs> and you know, in Vietnam, I, I had been in seminary, living in prayers, adoration, with Jesus and Mary and Joseph and all the saints and angels and heaven. And now, in front of me, <laughs> I tried not to Look at her, because I know that, as Jesus said, it's better for you to enter into heaven with one eye. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem, she stood right there. <laughs> Forgive me. 
And from that time on, it said, no more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, temptation uh, from everywhere, and you know, in movies, or magazine, or internet. And, and in marriage, when you face temptation and trials, especially when something go wrong with your marriage, and you are tempted to quit, to divorce. But um, I think that the best way to show that, as Jesus said, continue to move on. Marriage is the vocation, and God called you to love and to be faithful to your spouse like Jesus for his wife, the church. The church has seen many ups and downs, and the Lord has been faithful to the church. Christ loves his church no matter what. He is always present in the sacraments. No matter who the priest is, or the size or fervor of the congregation, Christ is always there. Each of us is called to be holy through our vocation. But we also know that we sin. And we need God's grace. We need to know that we are imperfect. We need God's blessing to help us repent. If you know someone who stay away from church because of problems in marriage, this encourage them to come back, to come back to receive the mercy and love from God. We know that Jesus came not for the righteous, but for the sinners to repent. Jesus died on the cross to save the sinners. He came not to condemn, but to save to bring back the lost sheep, to heal the wounded, wound, wounded soul. There's no sin that Jesus cannot forgive. He cannot forgive only sin, the sin that we don't believe in God, we don't believe that He can forgive us. So my brothers and sisters, God who is love, and who created man and woman of love, for love, has called them to love. And by creating man and woman, he called them to an intimate communion of life and of love in marriage. And God said to them in blessing, be fruitful and multiply. And as Pope Francis once said, Marriage is a vocation. God calls each of us to be holy, to live His life. But He has a particular path for each one of us. Some are called to holiness through family life in the sacrament of marriage. So may God bless us all. <laughs>